Are you ready to create a life you crave? Let's spin that doom loop of negativity into an upward success cycle and start living lucky. Good morning! I'm Jana. I'm Jason. And we are living lucky. That just means we feel blessed. We feel grateful. And we are happy to be alive. Yes. Did you see the sunrise this morning? Wow. Woo! What a blessing. I know. It was a good one. It was a good one. Today we are talking about reverse manifesting <laughs> oh wait that's not good people you're probably thinking what in the heck is she even talking about reverse manifesting my my whole point is that thanksgiving is coming up thanksgiving is what a week and a couple days away a week, a week and two days what are the thoughts in our time zone that you are having toward Thanksgiving? Yeah. Are you coming at it with dread? Are you thinking, oh God. Is it gonna be stressful? Is it gonna like what are the things that you're building up towards that you're you're kind of stacking your own little tower of what's gonna happen for yourself? Are you having thoughts like, oh, politics are gonna come up and and People are going to get disputed and whatever you do, don't say this. I'm going to get an argument with my mom. I'm yeah, get whatever you do, Aunt Sally. don't, don't go there. And the minute you say, don't go there or don't say this. Don't think of pink elephants. Guess what happens? <laughs> we think of pink elephants. We, we do exactly what our fears tell us not to do it's because we have that reticular activating system and we're like oh my gosh and, whatever you do and we're building up so this is the exact when we talk about reverse manifesting we are so good at that because yeah, we, we, we project negativity we, into our future we build up everything that could possibly happen and we live in that emotion we build that emotion that stress our that defenses fear, anxiety and then before we get in the car to go somewhere, it's like, I don't even want to do it. I am so I, guilty I would of this. rather just stay here and then... I'm I don't gonna, even want to go. I I'm am gonna, so guilty of this. I'm going to put on my big boy pants or I'm going to put on my big girl pants and I'm going to muscle through it. But you've already reverse manifested it. So and your brain's looking for all those things that you told it was going to happen because it's excited. You're going at it with your defenses up as yeah. well. So the state that you're showing up, the energy that you're bringing to this, because you know things are going to go south. And the reason you know this is because you've had how many Thanksgivings in your adult lifetime and they've all gone south. Like it's happened time and time again. So you have proof and your amygdala brain is like, told you so, told you so. I'm trying to protect you here. Here's, here's the thing. Wayne Dyer used to say we're like a clock. And we start at 12. So when we're little kids, we start at 12. And then as we go through life, we start accumulating all of the negativity, the all of the, the limitations, all of the things that could go wrong, everything, all of the Thanksgivings that have happened <laughs> for the last 45 years. And then we get to six o'clock. And six o'clock is when we start having an awakening <laughs> and we start realizing, oh, wait a minute, you know what? Maybe I need to unlearn some of this conditioning that I have accumulated because I'm just creating this for myself. I'm creating it for myself. When you were little, you didn't go to Thanksgiving and, and have all this dread. You were excited. Yeah, you ran around, you got, you got dirty. You got... you got to see your cousins. You got to eat grandma's cooking. It was fun. You got to wear your new outfits and and maybe, I'm I don't know. Tear them on. Yeah, you got to That's laugh it. together. Tell them about what's what's exciting at school. Go go to the park and you got play. To give thanks. Just being around mm -hmm. family and being around people that you don't always get to see. People would travel to go see people. So it's a... But now, for some reason, and maybe we're alone. Maybe we're confessing something that we shouldn't be <laughs> saying out loud. But for well, me, Thanksgiving, there's a big, big mound of, oh gosh. And, and I hate that I do that because... Because I'm really creating that stress and anxiety myself. Well, we do this in everyday life. Yeah. Is we get up. We do. I mean, I was reverse manifesting Sunday night when I would have that stress and anxiety. 
Yeah. And I would start, I would start building what's going to happen, what's going to happen. And we're very intentional about the things that we do on a daily basis. Yeah. But when we reverse manifest, you have to get into a state of mind and a state of expectation of expecting good things and really feeling that emotion. And it's not about being Pollyanna. It's about what you're going to willing to accept for yourself. And it's the boundaries that you set. Yes. Oh, Marcy's here. Uh, Sheila says that she gets invited to friends and family dinners and she gets treated polite, just sits back and watches the show. Watch the you show because she's watching what everybody else is manifesting for themselves. I yeah. actually, I actually had a therapist one time tell me to go into Thanksgiving like you're a reporter. And when you, when you go to Thanksgiving, pretend that you're writing an article for a a magazine or a newspaper and you're just there as a little fly on the wall and you know what it helps a lot because all of a sudden when things are said or when things hurt your feelings or when things aren't said and things hurt your feelings it you you take yourself out of the situation and you become a spectator and it's easier to be neutral when you're a spectator and almost almost make light of the situation. Like, oh, so-and-so asked about how much money we're making <laughs> and they said it in a snarky voice, but you're you're writing it down as a as facts, you know, and it, it doesn't it doesn't attach meaning yeah, to it. It's not personal. It's not personal. That's the problem. We take things so personally. Yeah. Oh, but you can, you, you're going to find what you're looking for. And this is kind of goes back to any party, any, any event that you build dread up to, and then you don't have a good time. We're or, manifesting or, or it. Or maybe Our you thoughts. can change it to a good time, but you have to, it's a, it's changing your state. It's changing your physiology. It's all, it's all these things that it's we've been talking about mindset. for the last six months. Yeah. And your beliefs, your beliefs create your thoughts. Your thoughts create your feelings. Your feelings create your actions. Your actions create the experiences you have. And the experiences you have reinforce the beliefs that you started with. So if you go in with the belief, this is going to be a doozy. This Guess what it's going to be. This so be a hot mess. <laughs> one little hack we have is ask yourself better questions. Instead of, oh, what's going to go wrong today? Or, oh, here comes Uncle Charlie. What's he going to say? Instead of instead of thinking those types of thoughts, say, what can I learn? Yeah. How can I grow? How can I celebrate? Who can I get a better connection with? What do I love about this person? What do I love about this situation? And, and try to just change your focus slightly. What am I thankful for for Thanksgiving? Hello. <laughs> Right. It's built for the occasion. And if, if somebody says something that kind of rubs you the wrong way, it's what can I learn? How can I grow? How lucky am I that they're pointing out that this bothers me? And, and this is something that I need to develop in myself so that I can reach that higher level in life, which God intends. Woo! What? You know, Martha Beck, she actually has this bingo game. And it's called... Family dysfunctional bingo. I think that's, the, did you just almost spit yes, that out I your did. nose? <laughs> because how fun would that be to play? But you don't want other, everybody else to know you're playing it. Yeah, <laughs> you have to play it in secret. But it literally, you you make a bingo card before you go. And it's things that, you know. That typically happen. So if, you, if you've been to a lot of the things and you know that so-and-so is going to say this, so-and-so is going to have a, a super long prayer or uncle so-and-so is going to have too much to drink. Yeah. <laughs> so if you know politics is going to come up at the table, historically things that trigger you are going to happen. You turn the triggers into a game so that you're actually winning your bingo card. But that could actually be reverse manifesting as well. It, yeah. Yeah. So maybe, <laughs> we, maybe we better dial back that tip, but it does help <laughs> change the meaning. So, and, and really it all comes down to the meanings and the emotions, because if you're too stressed out to even go, that you've already reverse manifested everything. Yes. Kimberly Joy is giving us, she's giving us applause. And Christine says, love your family and all their faults. You, you never, never know, know how, how long, long you have, have them around. It's so, so true. Yes. yes. And that's, that's one thing. We all think that we have this limitless amount of time. We have limitless capacity on earth. But our time is not given. So we need to make the most of every single day. And that's, 
I mean, tell somebody that you love them, tell somebody you appreciate them, manifest what you want in life because it's available. I mean, opportunities are everywhere. And I think what she's really saying there is look for the best in others. Amen. And, and that's what manifesting is. It's looking for the best in life instead of looking at the negativity. Let's spin positive. Have a great day, guys. And we'll be back tomorrow. We're getting our TV wired today. I Ooh. hope this goes well because the guy who's doing the work has literally called us five times and said, now what's the job? Yeah. <laughs> well, you want it connected to your internet? Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, we sometimes don't know the We're questions gonna to ask. We're going to manifest, expect great things here. That's right. Have a good one. Bye-bye. If the idea of living lucky appeals to you, visit us at startlivinglucky.com.